my channel so remember in my last video I said that I was gonna be done with this final video well this is a final video not the Aisha one this one is about cat the third replacement for Kimberly in season 3 of Many More Power Rangers now given the fact that cat had a very interesting introduction let's just say that the fans were not really feeling her character when she became the new Many More Power Ranger and I thought she was alright. She wasn't perfect, but she was alright. You know, she did had a character arc of trying to get over Rita's spell, much like how Tommy did in season one of Mighty Morphin. Cat, on the other hand, uh, became a new ranger when she became the ranger's help. You know, when she knew who the rangers were, and they didn't really need to hide their secret. They just knew. And I think how she was you know, introduced in this series when in a multi part or different shade of pink when Catherine was super jealous of Kimberly and Tommy's relationship. And it was up until that point where she needed to mess with Kimberly's cobble coin and just being disrespectful towards Kimberly. But when she finally came to her realization that Rita was in my control, she pretty much apologizes and confesses to Kimberly that she was the one that was messing with the coin and it was all due to Rita's my control. And they all were very forgiving at the time. But when Kimberly passed the coin to Catherine as the new Pink Ranger, Catherine, she was going through a lot, you know, trying to get used to uh, being the new Pink Ranger, but she quickly became better as a ranger overall and in the Nanjini mode and the ranger form and it was up until when she truly got her shine at one point when it was about Rita's Peter Tommy's focus episode when she fought the monster and she looked pretty good doing it being your tall pink ranger but uh, when Kimberly was a ranger she was tiny as I don't know what but when Catherine was a ranger, she was like 5'11 tall. And uh, yeah, up until the Mass of Owl saga, when, when the rangers got their uh, metallic armor, it wasn't really a metallic armor, it was just glitter. And boom, well, Hasbro and the Lightning Collection thought of an idea. Although the toys lit the gut, but the story of how they got it was a mess. They could have used the costumes from the movie as metallic armor. But what we got was just glare. But the Antala Garment was just supposedly designed for moving fast or whichever martial arts moves they do. But they're just using their regular normal speed than just use your actual speed from the costumes. But uh, yeah, up until when the Rangers became kids for the second time, the Alien Ranger saga, crap. And it wasn't until Zeal when she became so much better in, as Zeal Pink, she had a character arc. What I didn't like about the Zeal season is they rushed the relationship with her and Tommy, especially in that crappy motor part, there's no business like no business, where Kimberly did this Dear John letter when she broke up with Tommy out of nowhere. Well, she belongs in the streets anyway, but don't get mad at me for that. Uh, yeah. So, three years in a relationship, it was for nothing. Three years of sacrificing each other's lives, of uh, not sacrifice, but sacrificing their own lives and risking their lives to save people as rangers. And the fact that you go to Florida out of country to meet some meet up with some other dude. And yeah, Kimberly was a hot mess. Despite of them rushing this relationship with Tommy and Kat, I have to say I like this duo of Tommy and Kat better than Tommy and Kimberly. Now, I know in the fandom that they're gonna probably get mad at this video saying that Tommy and Kimberly all the way 100 percent nothing can be the original. I'm sorry to tell you this, but Catherine and Tommy or a better duo. And if you watch the Super Ninja Seal special when they return, you can tell when they were holding hands. That should tell you something. I don't know if when they mention their um when they mention their son Jacob, I think 
her and Tommy had a kid together and they named the child Jacob. So it kind of makes sense when you think about it. So anyway, getting back on topic, Cat as Zeo Pink. I like her as Zeo Pink then Mighty Morphin Pink. And but as far as like Turbo Pink, garbage. I did not like her as Turbo at all. But I think I prefer her as Zeo Pink and Mighty Morphin Pink. A better transition from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But the Alien Ranger Saga, trash. That's all I have to say. Now, Cat, she's an interesting Power Ranger. You know, she's been through a lot. You know, I, I still prefer her as Mighty Morphin and, and Zeo. Yeah, those are my thoughts on Kimberly's new replacement. And she was okay. She wasn't perfect, but she was just okay. Um, if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. And what were your favorite memories from Catherine on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Zeo? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I'm out.